We're excited to welcome you to campus in just a few weeks for Spend a Summer Day. This video will be all about on-campus transportation and how to get around at Penn State University Park. Campus is quite large. There's a couple of resources on this page where you can access maps of Penn State University Park, and you'll get a map when you check in for the event at the Bryce Jordan Center. Speaking of the Bryce Jordan Center, for some context, that is located here. And if you want to learn more about parking and getting to the Bryce Jordan Center, make sure to watch the arrival and parking video. Sessions are going to be spread all across campus. These pins represent just a couple of the buildings that make up the number of buildings that you might be visiting during your day at Spend a Summer Day. Spend a summer day. So you can expect to walk around a lot to see everything that you might want to see. University Park is a primarily walking campus. You'll see some roads there on the map, but you will see people walking around campus as the main form of transportation. There are a number of places on campus where through traffic is not possible, especially in central campus. So driving across campus can be challenging during the day, um, and there are even places where you can't get through. Um, so highly recommend walking as that form to get around because you'll not, you'll not encounter any of those issues. Guest parking is limited on campus. Um, the parking lots out by the Bryce Jordan Center are going to be the main places you'll want to park. There are a couple parking garages around campus as well that charge a dollar an hour. Um, but if you're planning to stay for the entire day and walk around all of campus, um, as well as check in with us up at the Bryce Jordan Center, you'll want to park in those lots. If you do have questions about accessibility or getting around campus, um, we can, of course, support you in the admissions office. So please send us an email if you do have any accessibility concerns. We do have event shuttles that will run one way in the morning. The purpose of the shuttles is to get you from the Bryce Jordan Center and check in out to your first event location. So once you check in with us at the Bryce Jordan Center, you'll have the option to get on these shuttles outside of the building at the ticketing loop. Um, we'll have staff and alumni volunteers there and they'll give everybody getting on the shuttles a half sheet of information that will let you know which stop to disembark at based on the session that you're looking for. We have four stops across campus. Our first stop is probably our most popular stop at the Thomas Building. We also stop downtown at the Allen Street gates. We'll stop all the way out on West Campus at Burroughs and Pollock Road at that intersection. And finally, at the Visual Arts Building. You don't necessarily need to know where these stops are or where any of these buildings are. You just have to make sure to grab one of those half sheets and look for the session that you're planning to attend and get off at that stop. At the bus stops, we will have alumni volunteers and tour guides to make sure you get to the right location. While you're on campus, you will see CATA buses. You can see one in the picture here on the screen. CATA is the Center Area Transportation Authority, and CATA is our local community um, transportation hub. Penn State partners with CATA to have a couple on-campus free loops and links that circle campus and downtown, and anyone in the community, guest, student, whoever can get on a CATA bus to use them as transportation. Um, during your time here, you may want to utilize the Blue Loop or the Red Link. CATA buses in the summer do operate at a reduced service capacity. During the school year, there are other on-campus and downtown options available to students, but during the summer, you'll only see the Blue Loop and the Red Link. If you're planning on using CATA during your time, um, participating in Spend a Summer Day, I highly recommend downloading the My Stop app um, and enabling location services to find CATA when you get here. My Stop app is going to be the best option for live bus locations, and we can help you with that too when you get here if you need support. We do also have spin bikes on campus. So if you have spin bikes in your community, you could definitely use your spin bike app here. Um, and if you wanna try it out, you could definitely download the spin bike app and set up your payment method ahead of coming to campus so you could e-bike around while you're here too. And while campus is not drivable, if you are coming to State College uh, through the airport or you want to get around State College without driving during your visit, um, we are an Uber and Lyft community, so you'll have plenty of options for ride sharing during your time here um, in State College and on campus. A couple of things to do to really prepare for getting around campus. I recommend downloading a map. Like I said, on this page, there's a couple of links that you can click on for different maps of campus, including one you can download and print and bring with you. You will also get a self-guided tour route map when you arrive on campus. Um, but if you're going to look at different buildings or maybe plan out your day, um, you could always download one ahead of time. 
Speaking of, I recommend planning your route. Um, if nothing else, plan how you're going to leave the Bryce Jordan Center. Um, once you check in, what's the first session you're going to go to? And will you hop on the shuttle or walk there? Um, even just thinking about that can help make the morning much more stress-free uh, for everyone in your group. So deciding if you'll take a walk, if you'll take a bus or walk throughout the day um, can be really helpful when it comes to planning. If you know you're going to want to take on-campus transportation, um, like our shuttles in the morning and then the uh, kind of buses throughout the day, deciding that up front will help you plan better for your visit. Um, if you're going to just be walking around throughout the day too, you'll definitely want to make sure you're wearing walking shoes and again, prepared for any kind of weather. And finally, have a plan to get back to the Bryce Jordan Center. Um, it can be a long walk, sometimes up to 20 or 25 minutes from Central or West Campus over back to the Bryce Jordan Center. So be prepared for that. And if you want to make an alternative plan to get back to the Bryce Jordan Center, also think about that before coming to campus. And of course, if you have any questions about transportation or getting around at Penn State University Park, definitely send us an email to our admissions email address, or feel free to ask when you get here for Spend a Summer Day. We will have plenty of staff available at the Bryce Jordan Center and on campus throughout the day to help you with any questions you might have.